Yo, what's going on guys, man? So we now have the new weekly challenges. If we go over two challenges, of course, we see right here, weekly week two. We finally got it. And what do we have? Oh, it actually is. We have the Jack Lim Ripper. In other words, the Chainsaw Aftermarket Parts Attachment. We have to unlock this. I've seen this leaked so much. I haven't seen any gameplay though, but it was the one that I was most excited about. So let's unlock it. We need to complete five of these weekly challenges in order to unlock the main part. I think the ones that I'm going to do are 30 operator kills with alternate ammo equipped. There's one. I'm also going to get 15 throwing knife kills. I'm also going to get 10 kills with the gun butt of my weapon. Huh? I'm hopefully going to get 10 point blank kills. And then I also need to get 20 kills with a lethal attachment under my weapon. So I can probably do that at the same time as one of the others. Okay. So we built a very interesting weapon to say the least. I think I'm going to focus on getting the kills with this first. I think I need 20 of them. I hope this counts as a lethal attachment on my weapon, whatever that means. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've used this attachment. I didn't think I would ever use it again, but turns out I am. I don't think in any other scenario, this thing actually gets put to use. Bro, hello? There we go. And there's probably another one that is way more practical than this one, but is it as fun as this one? Probably not. Also, it is Valentine's Day today, but I'm choosing to unlock a chainsaw in Call of Duty to make a video for you guys. So uh, yeah, please do me a favor and drop a like on my video. My girlfriend's definitely going to be mad. Help me! <laughs> Maybe these kills will actually count towards the 30 kills that I need with a recommended... No, actually, it won't. The recommended weapon has to be using alternate ammo. So I have got that on here, but I'm sure the flames don't count. This thing has no rage at all. Bro, no rage. What is that? Oh, there we go. 20 kills with the underbarrel. So now I can actually just use the weapon normally <laughs> and get kills. I've already got the alternate ammo on it. So this part should be easy. I really love the aftermarket parts that they add into this game. And I also love the weekly challenges idea. It gives me something to look forward to every single week. And I'm really happy about that. Typically, you have to wait for a new season or a new random update to come out. But this one, no, you get a weekly little addition to the game. Something new to try out. And that's pretty fun. Oh, oh, it did count. It actually did count because I only got 10 kills after the 20 that I needed with the flamethrower. Now I need to get throwing knife kills, which could be a problem. Thank you. The throwing the throwing knife isn't the problem. It's having to run and get it every time I do. Thank you. At least these challenges are pretty fun. I don't remember how many kills I needed to get with the throwing knife, so I'm just going to keep getting them until it pops up. Thank you. There we go. Get you off that head glitch. No! See, look, and now I have to chase after it like an idiot. It feels like when you're playing ping pong and the ball goes off the table and you have to run after it. Come on, man, I've got to be close. There we go. We got the throwing knife kills. I think one of the challenges was get three kills in a life with a melee weapon. Three times, actually, so we might be able to do that, actually. I'm going to try and do that. I don't know how easy that's going to be. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's three in a life. Let's try and get six in a life. Oh, okay, never mind. There's two. I'm chasing one. There's three. Another three kill streak, and we've got that one done too. That's a 10,000 XP one, so that's probably supposed to be the more difficult one. Okay, get me inside here. This should be an easy third kill. Yes. Come on, pop up. There we go. Another weekly challenge done. Now I need to get point blank kills, which is kind of annoying. Also, shouldn't the melee kills count as point blank kills? I don't know. Ah! Why has this become the most difficult one? I've got a shotgun now, though, so I should be able to get close to people pretty easily. I'm trying to get them all done in one game. If we manage to do this, then we are goated. And you guys have to subscribe. Is that fair? Easy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got it done. 10 point blank kills, which means we have got all five done. And we should have the chainsaw. Get me out of this game. So now if we go over to our weekly challenges, there we go. Attachment collected. Jack Lim Ripper. I'm hoping that this isn't bugged like some of the other aftermarket parts that we've had. Let's see. Let's go to the under barrel. Jack Lim Ripper. Here it is. It actually works. Thank you. Unrivaled at close quarter carnage, this under barrel chainsaw will make quick and messy work of anyone foolish enough to stand in your way. Okay. How's it look with camos on top of it? Oh, it actually changes that too? I will take that. Let's see how it works. 
What? This is so weird. <laughs> oh. What? I wonder how the ammo actually works in game or whether you can just hold it forever. Hold up. All right, we have it. The chainsaw. So it actually is infinite. I can't see any type of ammo. Wait, I'm just... Okay, I don't see any type of ammo. So low key, I can just run up. Wait, my first victim. <laughs> okay, see, see the problem with this is you have to be right next to them. If you look at the gun, it's right at the bottom of it. So you have to be basically, well, literally touching them. Oh, I'll take that in order for it to do anything. Yo, teammate's got the flamethrower? Yeah, I guess it isn't supposed... Oh, no, 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 I want the chainsaw. It isn't supposed to be broken and overpowered. It's supposed to be fun. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why that counted as a headshot. Yo, come here. Yo! <laughs> Damn! You can't run whilst you're using it. Well, you can, but once you're holding down the trigger, obviously, yeah, you're down bad. Okay, wait, no, I got an assist. I have to be even closer than that. Oh, everyone's stealing my kills. Another assist. Oh my, bro. Don't get me wrong. This is really fun, but are you going to get any use out of it? Probably not. I just don't see how you are. Bro, oh my. You have to get... There we go. Up running. Yo! <laughs> you see how close you have to get? If you're not at that range, you're not going to be able to use it. And I don't see how many scenarios that you're going to be able to use this in. I feel like it needs a little bit of lunge. It takes so long to activate too. Come on. <laughs> Once you do though, it will kill them. If you're close enough, they're going to die. Thank you. If you're not close enough, yeah, it's looking extremely slow. <laughs> Come here. Come on. I got a camp in this corner. That's the only way. That is the only. Yo, how? Oh, man, I love aftermarket parts. I just don't think you should take them very seriously. Think about it. It's a chainsaw at the end of your gun. It's not supposed to. Oh, it's not supposed to be practical. Let's be honest. But it is a weird, quirky thing that can be used. And I am never mad at them adding stuff like that. Again, I say it every time, but this just makes me more... Oh my. This just makes me more curious about the future aftermarket parts and what they're going to do with those. Bro. <laughs> this is so weird. This isn't how I expected it to be used. Bro. So here we've got the Doom Chainsaw, and this one is way superior, in my opinion, because this one actually has... Wait, actually, is it not as good as I remember it being? I could have sworn there was way more of a lunge with this chainsaw. Am I wrong? Wait. Oh, there we go. Why didn't it lunge the other times? I didn't mean to execute it. Even the Doom Chainsaw isn't as good as I remember. I could have sworn that it had way more of a lunge. Oh! Oh! Wait, they all spawned on me. I can't see a thing, though. Am I dead? Am I alive? Oh my. <laughs> Wait, he started playing. Wait, was he? He was AFK watching a duck run around. <laughs> That's actually hilarious seeing it from that point of view. And then you get to a map like this. <laughs> this is where something like this becomes completely pointless. Unless you're sat in a corner like this. <laughs> I didn't even think I was going to be able to get a kill. Come here, buddy. Like I said, I think aftermarket parts are really cool. I don't think anyone should get... I don't think anyone should get mad at aftermarket parts being quirky like this because they are not all supposed to be usable in every scenario. Sometimes they're gonna add some fun aftermarket part that most likely will never get used, but it was a cool idea. I just don't think they all should be taken extremely seriously, but that's just me. And by the way, that's different to an aftermarket part being added that is not quirky and just terrible, <laughs> you know? Like the first one for this new season, which was for the longbow, I believe. Hold up. Come here, buddy. 
There we go. It was for the longbow, and it literally just made the longbow a little bit stronger. That was pretty much all it did, and it made it shoot slower too. I didn't see any benefits with it. <laughs> that's one that I guess people can get mad at because that's not quirky and fun. It's just pointless. I'm actually finessing this somehow. Oh my god, get me out of this game. But yeah, man, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. It's a bunch of fun, don't get me wrong, but it is pretty pointless. I will say that. I don't see me getting any use out of this whatsoever unless I'm bored and want to break a wall. Other than that, it's pretty difficult to kill people with because you have to be right next to them. And I mean closer than an actual melee weapon. At least the melee weapons have some sort of lunge. This, you have to be touching them. Either way, it was fun to unlock. I like the idea and I'm really excited to see what these future weeks hold again the first one was this jack tyrant i didn't even bother talking about this one because it was so pointless this one was cool because you know it's a fun thing to run around with but it's just not very good so i do wonder what they're gonna do for the future weeks they have said it but i haven't seen any gameplay of them yet so i don't know how they're gonna translate into the game but yeah man thanks for watching thanks for all of the support you guys have been showing on the channel i really do appreciate it hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one